What's going on, guys? King Mills TV here again. Yo, I'm banging out these videos, man. I'm just, I'm not getting up. No bathroom breaks. I'm doing all of this stuff for you guys. No, I'm just playing. But <laughs> I can stop it, but, you know. But I am gonna just go through all these, all these um videos, man, that everybody tweeted out to me. Um, I just hope it ain't no crazy, crazy like long videos, man. Like some like an hour long or something like that, because uh got work <laughs> but it's my guy of course uh, we played 2k together We're supposed to play um warzone together but i don't know did he send me one or did i send me one and we never got it i don't know but like still a uh, it's a good guy man really good guy uh i want everybody you know before i even do anything everybody go to his channel like comments and subscribe man like this he's a really good guy man um I have two really good guys here, um, but yeah, he's one. He's one of them, and yeah, just go go to his channel, like, comment, subscribe to his channel, man. And he does this daily, man, and he gives you a lot of good content, and it's really great content, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's let's see. Put the noodles on too. Hey guys, welcome back to Courtside. And as you know, NBA is wrapping up the season. We're almost into the conference finals now, and we can already start talking about the future. In today's video, I'm going to try to predict six things that I think will happen in 2020-2021 NBA season. We're going to talk about draft. Some Giannis is coming to the Heat. Just say, he's coming to the Heat. Potential trades and some head coaching changes. Real quick before we start, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I appreciate every single one of you guys who's watching. That. With that being said, let's get started. Philadelphia ends the process. Oh, break that up. Okay, at this point, I truly believe it is time to break down the Philadelphia player. Sixers. Yes, they're probably going to try with a different coach first and see if it's going to provide better results than Brett Brown. But in my opinion, just the way the team is built, oh, it's going to be nearly impossible to, to trade away overpaid players and make Joel and Ben work. Even at its peak, they barely work together. Ben still needs to learn how to shoot. JL is still in oh, crown, and and even when he's healthy and dominant, wow. it doesn't really work out great with the current Philly roster and Ben Simmons. Normally, it would be smart to trade away the other pieces like Al Horford and Ooh. Tobias Harris, but just because their contracts are so large, it is going to be nearly impossible to move them away. What Philly is probably going to do is try to trade away one of the star players and bring in the pieces that are going to fit better with the one who's going to stay. It's hard to say exactly who they're going to trade away, but if I had to pick one, I'd probably have to say. They're gonna trade away Joel just because he does seem frustrated with the team and he might want to move on anyways. Plus, on top of that, there are already rumors that he might try to trade out of buy on plus some other pieces to get Joel. We'll see what's gonna happen, but I think Philadelphia nah. will move on. I, I wouldn't do Anthony that. Anthony Edwards goes to the Wolves. Now, this. Ben, so Joel, nah, no, he fits better with the uh, with, with, our, with our team. Like, even though. Honestly, Joel Embiid, he is a, you know what I'm saying, he's a top tier center and stuff like that. He's very, you know, but he's just, honestly, to me, he's, to me, he's lazy. He doesn't work out as, as hard and stuff like that. I just don't see like that. that but he just, everything comes natural to him. Like, he has like that Shaq type of, you know what I'm saying, like mindset. Like, oh, I'm going to get my 25 and 12 or whatever in my sleep. Like, and he doesn't have to. Like, you know, work out as hard as ever. But to sustain, like, that's, and that's why he keeps getting injured and stuff like that. Same. Because he just doesn't work out. But, um, yeah, man, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade, um, Ben for him. Just saying. I, I'm a Miami Heat fan. I don't know if you guys know that, but I am a Miami Heat fan. So, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade Joel for Ben at all. I'll keep my guys. I stick with my guys. I'm a Pat Riley type of guy. All right. Let's this draft is going to be a weird one. We do have Lamelo and Wiseman and Edwards considered top three picks, but Lamelo oh, and Wiseman hey, are definitely not hey, the best fits for hey, the Wolves. Splash. They already have a big man in Cat, and they do have a point guard in Zelo. Splash. The draft class is <laughs> definitely not as exciting as the one that we had last year, so not a lot of teams are going to try to trade these dudes in the, the first uh, pick, these rookies doing or at least offer something that, in the eyes of the Wolves, is going to be worth the first pick. So they're probably going to have to go ahead and draft. And Anthony Edwards does seem like a great fit and could be potentially a very good third star. Plus, if you're Minnesota, you really want to draft a star 
because Minnesota is not a hot free agent destination. Yeah. Even if they're going to start winning, you know, not a lot of players want to go ahead and move to Minnesota and play there. So they are obviously better off drafting a third star and trying to win some games with the D'Lo, Anthony Edwards, and Carl Anthony Towns. Nick straight true. up to Gilamello. Because Golden State Warriors season got butchered by the injuries, they did manage to win second Mello, draft pick. <laughs> Rumors are that they're not very high on either Wiseman or Ball. Hey. And Golden State is not a team who wants to raise a star right now as they're in the win now mode. They got Clay, they got Steph, they have Draymond, they even got Wiggins, and they're definitely ready to compete for a championship next season. Knicks, on the other hand, the are like, desperate for a star. He's, do I mean, he's doing this in a. Um, like this is this is what grown men, you know what I'm saying, dudes that's trying to make it to the league and stuff like that, like or, or people who who got bounced out of the league and stuff like like that's that's why I feel like he would be the number one pick to me or like like the same thing I was telling you know somebody about like Luca and um A like Luca is already proven he's a MVP of a men's league, you know what I'm saying, as opposed to like uh, DeAndre Ayton he. Was in college, you know what I'm saying? It's still, there's a lot of people still growing, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that, like somebody who who's already proven himself amongst men that he can <laughs> be really, really good, and he just came over here because, like, honestly, like over there they they have more schemes. It's not, you know, what I'm saying you play more team basketball, you don't score as much, you know what I'm saying? Because the, it's more of a team oriented basketball, and you have to earn your name over there and stuff like that. Keep and all that stuff. NBA is a star driven league, man. You can play off of one star and pretty much win. LeBron really like shows that. Giannis shows that. James Harden shows that. You can win games with just one star. You can't win it all with just one star. And that's what and LeBron James figured that out. But yeah, let's let's keep going. They need someone exciting to watch. And Lamelo is a perfect fit for that. He's born to be a star. He's an exciting player. There's literally so much hype around him. He's built to play in New York. Ooh, you know, he's not afraid of the lights. And That's, him and RJ yeah, Barrett can pass, actually man. work as a nice dynamic duo. And although I just mentioned that not a lot of Give teams are going to be interested in trading for the Spits, I can see Golden State being interested in one of the big mans from the Ooh. Knicks, for example, Randall, you know, or even Bobby Portis and I mean, a couple of other players and picks. I truly believe that Golden State is not going to ask for a lot. Randall and the pick is definitely going to do it for them. It's going to help them. Randall can definitely Shot. help a small ball at the run. Bobby Porter's can work as well. And I honestly think that Knicks are not gonna think about that trade. Yo, I got a, I got a um, challenge for you, Corsa. I think you should put like a, like do 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 this, right? What you're doing them for like like the YouTubers, man. Like the top YouTubers, like who can play basketball. I'm not saying put my name in that stuff like that, but I can play, I'm just saying. Check out some of my videos and stuff like that. But like, yeah, I'm like, see, you got like best shot stuff like that. You get bring, bring, bring people. You know what I'm saying? But you don't gotta put me in the video and stuff like that. I'm just saying, I, I would like to see you do that. And then you know, um, it'd be it'd be nice. I would like, I would love to react to something like that. I want to see who you think has like the the better, the best jump shot and stuff like that. Or I want to see, you know, what I'm saying, see if you have it. You know, if you can. You can play um, yourself. I would love to see a video like that too. I like I like watching like IRL basketball and stuff like that. Let me fix this up. Yeah, but it's, more it's, than a good. second if they have the opportunity. And yeah, at the end of the day, it is a win-win trade. You know, Knicks get Lamelo, hey, RJ, and finally get something exciting to watch. While well, Golden State don't have to get the rookie, baby. can get somebody proven, can get somebody who can help them right now, it's can sure. potentially help them compete for the championship. Giannis stays in Milwaukee. So after I was rocking with you into this. <laughs> uh nah, I'm just playing, bro. Like I don't think Giannis is staying there now. I think he's coming to 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 the heat, to be honest with you. I just think he's he's coming to the heat, bro. That's it. So let's go. The early exit in this year's playoffs, a lot of people started to push the narrative that Giannis is gonna leave in next off season or he even gonna demand a trade and go. trying to force his way out of Milwaukee between the seasons. Some people believe he might want to join Miami, while others believe he may try to join forces with Steph Curry and Clay and go to the Golden State Warriors. I, I don't think do it's going to happen. Take a listen and hear what he had to say after the Bucks got eliminated. We can learn from this and, um, you know, get better as a team and uh, come back and hopefully we can build a, 
a culture in Milwaukee that uh, for many years that we can come out here and compete every single year for them. Yeah, I like that. Like, I'm gonna get, yo, I gotta hit you up for this, bro. Like, this is nice. I like this. I like this. I got to like how you got your name with the bricks and the little TV. You know what I'm saying? Dang, that look bigger than my TV, bro. You, you doing all oh, this a chalkboard. This boy got the chalkboard. What? That's crazy. You got the eraser right there and all that with the black, red, green, and blue. Like, yeah. Oh, yo, that's dope. Black Lives Matter at the bottom. My man is tough. I like that. I like that. Uh, for the championship. Not only we have this statement, but also previously by his statements, he said a lot of times that he wants to spend his whole career in Milwaukee. He seems like a loyal guy. And honestly, people tend to forget that he's still young. He can still win the championship. Yeah, like 25, he can right? still turn Milwaukee into the dynasty. And I believe this is something that he wants to do. Plus, teaming up with the other stars, especially going to the Heat, might ruin his legacy. KG took a huge hit for going to the Golden State. Even right now, even if he's going to win in Brooklyn, people are still going to talk about the days in Golden State and how he teamed up with the team they beat him and he joined the 73-9 and team and got some easy rings. Well, same going to apply if he goes to the Heat. You know, this is the team that eliminated him. Even if the Heat going to end up losing to the Celtics or the Raptors in the conference finals or to whoever in the finals, it's still going to be a weak move and not a lot of people are going to be happy with Giannis for doing it. Especially Why not? It's not like he was a 73-9 and team. You know what I'm saying? He was like the fifth seed. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it's just we we but we just had a game plan. It wasn't like I don't, I don't know. We like we like we're a scrappy team. That's the reason why we got there. Usually, you know what I'm saying? It's it's just Shots was missed, shots were not. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. We build a wall against them. Like they, they were trying to build a wall against them right here, but they just can't, couldn't stop them. It's just that that's what it is. We built we built the right wall and stuff like that. And we stopped we stopped the shooters. We had somebody else other than Giannis beat us. You know what I'm saying? But Especially still. since he's still not completely proven as a player, and a lot of people still believe he's far away from his prime. Plus, on top of that, it's kind of hard to make a trade work that's going to work for Milwaukee and satisfy them, you know, considering what Miami or Golden State can give up. Yes, any team can well, potentially he's, he's huge, build man. a package that's, that's a going big to be dude. good for Milwaukee, but I feel like the team's going to try to make some moves first, you know, potentially bring Chris Paul or somebody else and make man, the team better those. before trying to trade Giannis. It's a big dude, Carol man. goes to the Miami Heat. Okay, this one was kind of hinted at by the way it looked. It is kind of clear that Oladipo seems frustrated with Indiana and he wants to play for the bigger market. Miami seems like a perfect fit. Plus, this is a team that may not have enough assets to get Giannis, but definitely got enough assets to get Oladipo. But you can definitely see him fit in the Miami system. They do have assets to trade for him. Even if the Heat's going to lose in the conference finals without making it to the finals, it's still going to be a desirable destination. So I can definitely see Oladipo forcing his way out of Indiana. Becky Hammond becomes the first female head coach. Yeah. Now, in this offseason, there's going to be a lot of head coaching He's jobs open. Sit. And a lot of the guys That'd who got fired, honestly, are not going to make it back and find another job in the NBA, at least for a couple of years. With so many positions being open, she did, Becky Hammond seems like a perfect she, deserves it. she got the skills, she got the respect from the players, and she worked with one of the best coaches of all time, Greg Popovich. Greg Popovich it is clear yes. that the league is ready for a first female coach. It's going to be great for the league. It honestly should have happened a long time ago. And there is no better candidate than Becky Hammond. As for which team is going to take her, there's really no way to say for sure. But if I had to pick one, I would say that Oklahoma is going to be a good fit because they have a lot of good players. They have trade assets. They're about to go full rebuild. They're going to ship away Chris Paul. They got a bunch of draft picks. So why not give her a chance and try to see what she can make with a fresh team? Well, that's all I got for you guys this time. Hope you learned something new. Yeah. Let me know in the comments what else you think might happen in the next season or in the off season. Do you agree with my prediction? Yo, yo, some of this stuff is accurate. Everything, you know, besides the whole Miami Heat stuff. You know, not just fine. But like, I, like, I, like, I like this, man. I like this type of content and stuff like that. Because um, I love, you know, keeping updated with basketball, and, like knowledge and stuff like that. And um, yo, yeah. Yo, everybody like, comment, subscribe to the channel, man. Like, I, I personally, I like, I like his, uh, his content and stuff like that. So, huh. see you guys on the next one. All right, guys.
the gym, flexing again, flexing again, yeah. Shoot at the rim, that's for the win, that's for the win, yeah. Come out again, flexing again, flexing again, yeah. Hang on the rim, that's for the win, that's for the win, yeah.